Hello guys, a new augmented reality test, this time without markers. I got my Nexus, you can see that I'm holding it in my hand. And what you see here is basically my exact same 3D model as I had before, but this time now um, on, <laughs> on a furniture. Um, it doesn't have markers, you see the furniture is one big thing, I will show it from another ang angle. You see this is my furniture. Big box, I can put stuff in it, and has some clo uh, well, a clock on it, some statues, pretty nice statues from uh, Sri Lanka and Afri Africa, and well, basically for whatever, from uh, whatever. Um, well, no markers, you see there, a piece of paper, but it doesn't, uh, it, it's no marker, basically it's even, uh, something I put there after I did something for the augmented reality so yeah so this is what I have nothing and when I look on my Nexus I see my 3d model uh, basically it it's okay it, it's on the same spot and when I turn around a little bit you see it turn around also and in the same perspective and view it's a little bit shifting but basically it's uh, oh, now I've got some shiny stuff from my lamp in the, in the room but you will see it's um, well yeah it, it's sticking to it sorry for the really bad camera quality I go uh, I'm recording this with my um, <laughs> really crappy mobile phone really really low budget but well it's working I can show what I'm doing um, yeah, pretty cool. I can zoom in. Hello, this is my 3D object. <laughs> it clips right now. And basically I can also look at the clock. And then I can look back and I still see my 3D model. And I can zoom out. And it still fits to the furniture. Now it's a little bit... Uh, a little bit shifting. Not much, but a little bit. And I can walk a little bit closer again and it still fits to the furniture. This is my markerless test. Um, it's just testing how augmented reality basically works and it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, maybe I'm going to do some pretty cool stuff with it but I will see. If you guys think oh man you did something wrong all right just tell me and I will do it differently. Um, I can basically tell you how I did it. Uh, at daylight, I made the photograph from this angle and I'm using that as a target. The only hard thing to do is to make your 3D in the scene actually fit with the image. And when you have that done, yeah, then you can make your 3D uh, stick to it. Pretty cool. Anyways, thank you for watching. And um, yeah, maybe I will show you next time something else. But we will see. Bye.